Point weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is in the Weather Center. Tony, we're looking at the radar. There's some still spotty showers. Yeah, it's gloomy, it's damp, it's gray. What else? At least it's mild, right? Yeah, We've yeah. got temperatures that are in the 50s, so we're not talking about a, like a cold or icy rain. But uh, you look at pictures. Uh, this is a New Bedford Harbor, and you got low clouds, fog, and showers, and of course plenty of green on Doppler radar. But this will be ending shortly, at least the steady precipitation. And we do have some clearing later in the evening and during the overnight. So we will be heading in the right direction. Let's go to uh, down at Easton's Beach in Newport. It pretty much tells the story here. Gray skies, breezy with uh, temperatures in the uh, well into the 50s and still tracking uh, showers and some drizzle and numbers now. Most areas now middle to upper 50s, uh, almost a solid 10 to 12 degrees above average for this time of year. So damp early this evening. We'll still have some leftover, some showers and drizzle, but the steady rain should be ending shortly. As far as the clouds clearing out, that will happen overnight, and then that sets up for dry, sunny weather, both Thursday and Friday. A little windy on Thursday and breezy on Friday, but uh, both days are dry. Cooler to colder air returns this weekend. It is chilly and rather gusty. Uh, Saturday, we're not call it a rain day, but there may be some sprinkles. Watching Sunday evening, Sunday night, not that we're concerned about any kind of a big storm, but maybe a little rain and snow shower activity uh, by Sunday evening. In the meantime, you see one batch of rain that's passing through right now, still holding on to the clouds. But notice downstream how it really starts to quiet down some breaks in the overcast, and there is drier air through the Midwest. So this will be punching in later in the evening and during the overnight and sets up for some sunshine uh, as early as tomorrow morning. Take this into the future. Watch the time bar and we push this offshore skies start to clear overnight and then here we are tomorrow morning with sunny skies look at nine in the morning it's 50 still mild for this time of year here we are tomorrow afternoon breezy the temperature starts to drop a little bit the wind will make it feel cooler but nice to have the sunshine back and we jump ahead to friday afternoon with more sun breezy and a cooler day with temperatures in the lower 40s. Here's a close up look at it, how it all plays out. This is 7 o'clock in the evening in the middle 50s and watch how the skies clear out overnight. And then here we are tomorrow morning heading out to work, kids heading out to school, sunny in the upper 40s. And then during the afternoon, it is windy but dry. Sunshine, upper 40s to lower 50s. And then by this time tomorrow evening, we're looking good. Clear skies uh, tomorrow night and colder. Tomorrow morning, waking up to sunshine at 7 o'clock in the morning, 47, well above freezing. It's 51 at 11 a.m. And then during the afternoon, gusty winds will start to knock the temperatures down a bit. So while we are forecasting pretty nice temps, a gusty breeze should make it feel uh, cooler. All right, seven day forecast. Uh, here's the deal with the weekend. Uh, windy and chilly both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday is not a rain day. I would prefer to use the word sprinkle. How's that? So we can do okay with that. And then Sunday's a little interesting towards Sunday evening, Sunday night, perhaps some rain and snow showers. I don't think it's serious, but uh, some rain and snow showers. And notice the temperatures over the weekend, uh, Sarah and Kim, colder with the temperatures between 40 and 45. Thanks, Tony.